you know, on the music front, because I wanted to check and remind you guys about that, because, you know, I'm a bit of a fan of all the music -y. There's been an album that dropped this weekend or this past weekend that I've been listening to ever since it's released. And I think I want to highlight the albums that I listen to and they're still in rotation throughout the weekend heading into a new week. There's other stuff that drops that's like, you know, you just kind of, you know, listen to it in the moment and then kind of skip it and not listen to it again. Sorry, but some of the albums that do drop that have that staying power, it's worth to mention it and to sort of praise and to kind of lift up the flipping artists in general. So one of them has to be Caroline Palachek's Desire I Want to Turn You Into. So desire I want to turn into you absolutely phenomenal number one the cover art is absolutely banging I love that she's like splayed on the floor in what looks like something that could be like the Bakerloo line right one of the most really ratty um, lines that we ever have here in flipping London and um, with graffiti all over the place sand on the floor for some reason these horrible flipping chairs it's really cramped and small it's super humid in the summer it's just a horrible horrible line but it also happens to pass some of the most you know um, desirable places in London to live and maybe some of the most expensive postcodes in London also so it's a quite a bit of a it's a bit of an oxymoron in that regard so the, the, the album cover is absolutely phenomenal so big up Caroline Palaszczuk for also you know giving a crap about that sort of stuff but the tracks that I want to just highlight the three tracks that to me stand out on this entire album which I have to highlight number one being Sunset this to me sounds like something that could be a really good Rosalia banger, right? There's parts on this that I think would kind of work really well. You've got this kind of Spanish flamenco tango type of style thing. I think for a long time, I forgot the guy's name, but for a while, I forgot the guy's name where I was watching a lot of his YouTube videos online. It's this really famous salsa dancer who's like really ripped and he's got a long ponytail and he's, and he's just, he's regarded as one of the best. I wish I could remember his name. I used to check out a lot of his salsa videos in general um, and just kind of feel that vibe because I think that was the time when I was really into Rima and Rima kind of reminded me his early stuff, that kind of singing, it kind of sounded almost, um, almost like, you know, yeah, almost Latin, almost flamenco-y, um, there was bits about it that were kind of um, Arabic sounding, you know, early Rima. Now he's kind of changed his sound, but that sort of like, yeah, that sort of like singing, that kind of wailing was just amazing and the beats overall. But anyway, going back to Sunset, in my opinion, in terms of an opening verse, I don't think it gets much stronger than this. Personally, it doesn't get much stronger. It's Sunset um, off of Carolyn Parrish's album, and it goes, it goes as follows. These days I wear my body like an uninvited guest. I turn it right and right and right instead of turning left. But boy, your patience is like a magic kind of medicine because every spiral brings me back into your arms again. And a chorus, so no regrets because you're my sunset, fiery red, forever fearless. And in your arms, a warm horizon. Don't look back. Let's ride away. Let's ride away. Literally saying that now is giving me goosebumps. Literally saying those bars is giving me goosebumps. This is legit one of the most amazing opening verses and choruses I've ever heard in my entire life. And it's probably all under a minute or something. Again, credit to Caroline. Carol, Caroline. I'm not sure if it's Caroline or Caroline. But we're going to go for Caroline just in case. Big up Caroline Palaszczuk because for a track that, if I'm not mistaken, has like... I'm going to say off the top of my head, I'm going to guess and say it's 14 tracks. Let me see if, if I'm guessing right. Or oh, it's 12, my bad, two off. So for an album that's got 12 tracks on it and it's un, it, is, it hits 45 minutes in total duration, we have to give that lady a clap, a round of applause. We have to give a round of applause. Too many artists out here, um, you know, Trippy Red being a flipping good example, are just putting that absolute fraff. It's over an hour and something plus minutes. And legitimately, you already feel tired within the first couple of tracks. And it's only like 20 minutes in. And you're already like, oh my God, there's so much long to go in this album. Whereas with this album, I felt like I was checking to see what album, what track was playing because I didn't want it to end. I was kind of bummed by the time we got to Billions, right? And I'm going to talk about that track at the end as well, that other single, amazing. But that's, that's I feel like, just great sequencing, great production, great artistry. Everything about it is just amazing. To be able to put that much musical diversity because the thing about this album there's so many different sounds right there's like drum and bass type stuff there's what you'd call i don't know what you'd, what you'd call sunset flamenco salsa whatever type of music that is pure pop hits stuff that sound that sounds almost r&b-ish like really 
a broad range of kind of musical genres and it's all squeezed into a 45 minute album you can't go wrong with that and again you've got some of these highlights just popping up in there you're like oh special absolutely beautiful and also big up sega bodega as well for co-producing that absolutely flames track you know he's done a lot of really good stuff with shy girl as well so if you're not familiar definitely plug in with sega bodega that one's crazy good then of course another one that i'm also a big fan of it's fly two uh, fly to you sorry oh my god oh my god featuring grams and dido are you insane the back-to-back -back, the duet with with flipping karen patrick and you know grams towards the end the beat switch up in the middle like i wish i could play it but now i'm gonna get pulled instantly but if you like scan across to like i don't know two minutes in that track it switches up and goes into this amazing like you know flipping breakdown like it's so good it feels like one of the quintessential like amazing it's almost like trancey drum and bassy type of beat it's just beautiful i can only imagine what the remixes will sound like once somebody decent grabs onto it it's so 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 good i don't want a four technique remix i want an actual really good remix it's so beautiful fly to you i definitely recommend check it out if you haven't already one of my favorite tracks on there and again the duet between you know grams and flipping palajek is great Died kind of singing in there as well in the background um is really really nice and then of course the standout track um the second single if i'm not mistaken right yeah second single from this track billions as an ender i'm a big fan of artists who are able to kind of coherently put together like an amazing like i think of playboy kai might be a good example right because i think whole lot already if i'm not mistaken um or even not even whole lot already let's go back to dialit that is a good example of it because that's definitely my favorite. Although I still like Hollow Ray, I think Dialit's definitely my favorite of his discography. If I go back to Dialit by Boy Boy Carti, one of my favorite intros, which is not really an intro, long time and RIP, you could switch those around, right? But let's just say long time is the intro, and then you end the entire album with Top featuring Pierre Bourne. To me, that's beautiful. Then you go to Whole Lot of Red, same thing. You start um, Whole Lot of Red, um, I don't know why it does this to me. Why is my Whole Lot of Red grayed out? for some reason i don't know why it's grayed out but for whatever you start with rockstar made and you end whole lot of red with um feel like dying to me beautiful and i feel like this album the same thing with caroline palaszczuk you got you got this amazing brilliant brilliant genre defining album that starts off with welcome to my island and ends with billions two very strong solid 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 tracks and yeah you just can't go wrong with it everything about it is flipping magical and i just can't imagine what it would be like to see this woman perform live i really wanted to go check her out at primavera sound but unfortunately primavera festival the ticket price no the flight prices oh i forgot honestly because i think you know when you're going with like friends you usually tend to book early so because i'm so used to going to trips on my own like traveling to parts of europe to do my little techno tourism stuff i've kind of got used to just booking my thing where i want to book it right like whenever i'm in i'm, I'm in need to for a rave or a little bit of a skank i just go but then I'm, I've, i forgot that when i went with my friends last time or the last time that we ever went to primavera which might have been in 2019 or something maybe sooner before that we booked it quite far in advance because obviously you go with other people. You have to get things into motion. You have to book an Airbnb, book the flights. You have to get loads of things coordinated. So I just checked it randomly the other day just to see what the price was saying. And I was seeing like Ryanair flights. Now Ryanair is like, you know, your cheap budget airline, wherever you have in the States. I don't know what you guys have um, in terms of uh, budget airlines, but let's just say it's not good. It's not virgin. And they're charging up to £400 plus to go to Primavera Sound in Barcelona. I'm like, I can't do that. I just can't justify £400 on a Ryanair flight cramped in together. Do you know what I mean? Like squeezed in like a sardine, super uncomfortable, unable to sleep. Nah, I just can't do that. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to knock that one off the head. But if she comes back another time, I will. I did miss seeing Caroline Patrick this February. She came around Valentine's Day, if I'm not mistaken, or maybe the weekend before that. But I completely forgot about it. Like I didn't even remember that it was happening. Um, but even I had it even saved on my song kick. There should be a better way to kind of save gigs, isn't it? On your on your flipping phone that you can kind of get alerted to because i had to save my song kick but i don't really check my song kick so it's kind of you know inconsequential why i even have it saved but song kick i feel like it's a good place to sort of like go through and see who's performing so i feel like not everybody puts their stuff up on dice um so it's quite hard to kind of figure out where to go and where to kind of check things in terms of live shows but if you guys have any recommendations please let me know but yeah um caroline palaszczuk's um 
this I want to, I want to turn into you album absolutely a banger absolutely amazing I'm definitely going to play uh, Fly To You as my end of track track of the day so definitely if you haven't heard it already you'll definitely hear it as my track of the day at the end of this podcast so big up Caroline Palaszczuk for doing that and being an absolute legend and putting together an absolutely coherent and amazing an amazing album I really 